This guy is literally probably infertile. You know, he's not going to be able to have kids. Ah, but he won't have to worry about that because he's going to be dead in a couple years, right? Oh, but at least he's huge. All right, guys, you can see I have a mic here. We went out yesterday and we bought this pricey mic system. So I'm an official YouTuber now. Now, if you hear some scuffles like that in the video, I apologize. I, I'm new to this. I've never used a mic system, so still trying to figure it out. I'm sure we'll be better next video. We're at UVU today, the college. We're going to be hitting a lift. Um, who's lifting with us, Brock? It's just me, Kyle, you. Is Noah coming? Noah's coming, yeah. We're going to have four people. It's, we're going to have four people. It's terrible. Oh, there he we is. shouldn't have invited Noah, man. There he is. Oh, Noah. What's up, man? Okay, Brock, true or false? The last time you were able to bench 300 pounds was a while ago. Long time, yeah. That's true. True. Well, Brock, how would you like to bench 300 pounds again? I would love it, man. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that because, Brock, inside that bag is that 300 pound bench you so desperately want. What's in this bag, man? What'd you say? What's in this? Brock, when you go to the doctor, right, and you have a problem, and that doctor, he prescribes you, you know, like a drug, do you ask a bunch of questions? I trust you. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I feel like you should probably consent to this or something. Hang on. Th this is just for like legal reasons. Like this is stupid legalities. There's not actually any danger, but you just got to say like you consent to basically drinking this. I consent, sir. You consent to drinking this. Consent to drinking this, yeah. Did you see that email from Raintree like a couple days ago about the couch getting stolen? Yeah, that is crazy, man. Probably right. trying to make a quick dollar. So we're gonna go around the apartment complex right now, interview people about the stolen couch. Just kind of see if we can get to the bottom of this thing. See if anybody knows anything. Should we try to catch those girls or no? Let's go. Cool. Would you guys be in our interview? <laughs> it's for school project. Did you guys see the uh, email that Raintree sent out for like the stolen couches? Yeah. yeah. Would you guys happen to know anything about that? Any information? We're trying to get to the bottom of it. No, can't say I do. No? You? Sadly, I don't. Well, would you know anybody with an interest in these couches? You know, maybe enough of an interest to commit a robbery? Yes. You do? <laughs> Who? That's confidential. That's, that's confidential? Sounds like you might be covering for somebody. I'm not, but it is confidential. One more question. Could I ask your whereabouts on Monday at approximately 9.53 p.m.? Work. Work. Do you have somebody that could vouch for you that you were at work? I can vouch you as work. well? Yeah. And where were you? I think I was at work. You think? It's this is a serious week. matter. It's been a long week. I think I was at work. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Can we interview you real quick? You're going to work, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, no worries. Did you see the email about the stolen couches out of the laundry room? I did. You did? Yes. Okay. I was very concerned about that. See, that's we yeah. are too. That's why we're out here. I actually was looking at the bench over there, and I noticed that someone moved it from one side to the other. So I don't know. So you think that could be the next target? Yeah. I have a feeling that whoever stole the couch from the laundry room also moved that bench to the other side. That is extremely observant. I think you're yes. working at the wrong place. You should be working for like forensics or something, man. Dude, we <laughs> live right next to you. All right. Oh, sweet. You guys, would you please be in my interview real quick? Sure. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hell, heck no, I'm not a TikToker. Do I look like a TikToker? That's a little offensive. Where were you Monday night at 9.53 p.m.? Oh, <laughs> this is taking a little longer than I thought it would. I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Do you know anybody who might have been interested or have an interest in this couch, you know, enough to steal it? No. You don't know anybody who doesn't have a couch? No. Okay. You guys are a little suspicious. I'm not going to lie. You guys seem like good people, but a little suspicious. Are you ready? This is very important. What the heck is that? It's clay. Why was it on your shoe? Because I was holding it in my hand. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay, so you live at Rain Tree? I do, yes. Did you see the email they sent out about the stolen couch out of the laundry room? I did see that, yes. Ah, uh, you did. Okay. So, do you know? anything about that or have any information that might help us get to the bottom of this i wish i did you wish you did okay well one more question where were you last monday night at approximately 9 53 p.m uh if i remember correctly i was just pulling into your mom's driveway could i ask where you were on monday at approximately 9 53 p.m i was doing laundry you were doing laundry you were in the laundry. okay and one last question can i double kick flip your board right there let's see it if I get this first try. Oh, dang. I try it, man. Close. What's your best trick? I think I saw you doing a fakie tray. Fakie trays. I'm trying to get them. That was a nice revert. Oh. Where is this going? You'll see. Do you live here at Rain Tree? I do. Okay, did you see the email they sent out about somebody stealing the couch from the laundry room? I did. That's a pretty, wow, that's a crime, huh? Yeah. Do you know anything about that, have any information that could help us get to the bottom of this thing? I do, my friends helped at it, but I what? really can't say. What? <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. They just told me like two days ago. What are the odds we literally stumbled across somebody who knows yeah. about it? It was for like some girls, or they didn't like know it. They didn't know it was going to be as big of a yeah, deal as it was. And so now it's kind of too late to back out because Rain Tree made it this big <laughs> deal. It is what it is. It's over now. Dang. See, the unfortunate thing is this big man behind the camera, he's with Rain Tree Security. So he's going to have to. No, I'm just kidding. He's not. <laughs> I guess that concludes our investigation, Brock. Yeah. We can finally rest. We've been doing this for a whole week. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Why? Just I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why do you have an interest in this? It's a couch fetish. Happens. Before I end this video, there's just a couple things I wanted to address. Uh, basically just about the unfortunate state of the fitness industry. I have a huge problem with the people who are at the face of this industry right now. Um, although I think they're extraordinarily great people, um, frankly I just don't think these people should be seen as role models. I don't think they should be realistically looked up to. And at the forefront of these people is Sam Solik. Um, and Sam Solik has pretty much reached God tier in the fitness industry. You know, he's pretty much invincible to the point where if you offer any kind of criticism towards him, uh, his massive fan base will just completely retaliate against you. Don't worry, I'm not here to offer any criticism. I'm just here to say that I think the way he abuses drugs, um, the destruction he's deliberately inflicting on his body is quite stupid. And frankly, I think this should be classified as mental illness. This guy is literally probably infertile. You know, he's not gonna be able to have kids. Uh, ah, but he won't have to worry about that because he's going to be dead in a couple years, right? Oh, but at least he's huge. What are we doing? And I'll probably get a ton of hate for this, but in my opinion, taking drugs to add more muscle to your body is like one of the most beta things you can do. And I'm going to be honest. I mean, I'm sure you guys could probably tell just from the lack of frequent uploads from me on YouTube recently. But yeah, my passion for creating fitness content has kind of faded. But I have to say, dude, like this current state of the fitness industry just fires me up. It makes me want to get more involved with it again. I want more people to see the truth. And the truth is, is that you can achieve a great physique 
naturally without putting this absolutely toxic shit into your body. It's never been more clear to me than it is right now that there is definite wrong and right going on in this industry right now. My physique you've seen throughout this entire video is completely natural and I developed it the right way. I just wanna show people that being natural is still cool. It's cooler. Say what you wanna say to 